Hi traders, Nathan Bray here from ACY Securities. Well, the Reserve Bank of Australia, the breaking news right now is they've put interest rates on hold. They're not raising them. They're leaving them where they were at 3.6%. Now remember, this could be very negative for the Aussie dollar, which we'll look at in just a moment. Keep in mind the US dollar are up at 5%. So pausing your rate at a far lower rate could be very negative for the strength in this Aussie dollar. Okay, the other thing that we've seen, the, the statement from the Reserve Bank, they cited the idea that we could be in a bit of a global slowdown economically. All right, so the forecast for GDP in Australia over the next few years is well below average. So things are starting to look a little bit negative for the Australian economy. Throw into that the fact that we have a giant household debt bubble. All right, we're seeing a scenario where household debt in Australia is 119% of our GDP. It's almost like we can't afford our household debt or our mortgages. Throw into that fact that we've seen interest rates rising pretty rapidly to fight this inflation over the last little while. And the fact that it's being put on hold, as the Reserve Bank says themselves, it's because it's a lagging indicator. So a lot of households haven't felt the pinch yet of these rapidly rising interest rates in Australia. So as a result of the slowdown global economy, household debt bubbles in Australia and a weakening economy, they've literally come in and put interest rates on hold. What could that mean? Well, if we look at this Aussie against US dollar, we're also seeing technically a key level being reached and price failing out right now. So that is monthly resistance. The longer term trend is down on the monthly and we've seen a nice rise back up to that level and price is starting to reverse from here. Now, if you throw in the uh, fact that we have a whole bunch of fundamental weakness coming into the Australian economy, all these things could very well be affecting and creating a very weak Aussie dollar. That's all from me. Good luck with your trading.